Welcome back to another episode guys. Now this is a further up to my homemade kimchi uh, from the previous episode. So tonight on the menu we've got a, excuse me, a kimchi soup. So on the list of ingredients what we have here is, um, this is um, a pig tail. It's the tail part of the pig that's been, um, after they've taken the legs off, taken all the cuts off, it's what's left over and um, it's lovely for a slow cook in a soup. And the other main ingredient that I'll be using is my homemade kimchi. So this is a batch of the radish kimchi that I made over a month ago, and it is good to go now. And finally, the last ingredient that we're going to be adding to it is, um, this is just on my homegrown Swiss chard. And this is just the, the vegetable element, the leafy green to it. And I'll be adding this at the very end, just before we eat, because we don't want this to be overcooked. So um, I'm just going to quickly prepare all these ingredients, and we'll check in when it's time to eat. is um, just simmering away. I'm going to let that slow cook for about an hour until I add the kimchi into it. Uh, so this is the kimchi that I made over a month ago here. Uh, you may have noticed some leaves at the top. Um, the purpose of these leaves were just to um, press it down. I'm actually going to discard them because um, they don't taste that, that good. So I'll just grab them out at the top there. Just put them to one side. And, oh, kimchi. The smell of it is so amazing. Um, there's plenty of garlic and chilli inside. And it's all just wafting out right now. Just give you a bit of a close up on that. I put a few habaneros in there too. Because at the time, that's the last of my habaneros. They're out of season now. And just judging by the look of it, it is going to be wickedly spicy. But um, I don't think I'm going to be putting all the chilies into the soup. I'll just take it out now and um, separate what I don't want. There you go. Might just have a little sneaky taste. See how it is. Now this, you can eat it as, um, as it is as a side dish because um, it's a fermented and preserved uh, vegetable. Um, you can also enhance the flavour by adding a bit of sugar, a bit of lemon juice to it. But I'm just going to go straight in and just taste it as it is. Oh. That is sensation. It's quite, it's got a little bit of a tartness to it and um, a nice crunch. And the, the, it's actually surprisingly not overly spicy. The spice is at the right amount. So, um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes in the soup. But as it is, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So I'm just going to have another bite. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Okay. So we'll check in um, when it's time to add this to the soup. Okay, so the pork bones have been uh, boiling for close to an hour now. So now it's time for me to add the kimchi. So this is just some um, store-bought kimchi, which is the uh, Wombok cabbage. We'll add that in there. And 
this is my homemade radish kimchi. You may have noticed this bowl was a lot taller before. Um, it's just that um, it was so lovely. Myself and my cameraman, we couldn't resist and we've been eating it while we've been waiting. So um, yeah, so the rest of it, what, what's left is um, sufficient. So in that goes. And now we'll let this simmer for a minimum of another hour until everything's all nice and soft and the flavors will mingle and infuse. We'll check in the next time when it's time to eat. So um, the kimchi soup's been simmering away for the last two hours and it is time to eat because uh, the pork is now ready. It's, it's soft. I'll just get um, a fork just to have a little check just to make sure that I'm correct. Yeah, it is. It's coming off the bone, so that's ready. So um, I'm just gonna add the chard in. And we'll get, give this about 10 minutes in the pot, take it off the heat, and then um, serve it up. Just turn it off. That will just shrink down. Okay, back to my favorite part of every video, the tasting. So um, I'm just gonna go straight in and have a taste. Let's get a bit of that pork bone out. Oh, look at that. That pork bone's just falling apart there in the soup. Let's grab a bit of that radish too. I'm just curious to see what that radish tastes like after it's been cooked. Okay, so now this is how we normally eat it. Um, bowl of soup with a bowl of rice. And this is a lovely, hearty, wintry dish. I'm just gonna go in without the rice. So first up with the radish. Mm. All that slow cooking, this radish is actually soft and melting your mouth, but it actually hasn't lost none of its flavor that it had originally. I can still taste all that chili, all that garlic flavor that's been infused into it. And it is sensational. And I'm um, having a bit with broth now. Well, oh, that chili really packs a punch. Um, and the meat, so the cabbage, and yeah, we'll go for a big mouthful there with some rice as well. Mm. This is sensational, guys. Once again, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. With kimchi, um, give it a go, making it yourself. Otherwise, this radish kimchi is easily obtained um, in any of the Asian grocery stores as well. Cooking it in this way is a good and simple way of cooking it, and it's a great dish for winter's days like, like today's. And uh, so once again, guys, I'm gonna be thoroughly enjoying this um, for my dinner. Right, and until the next one, bye for now.